Hello everyone, in this video we will take a look at how we can create horizontal scroll level tabs inside of Ionic 4. So first we need to make sure we have Ionic installed. So we can type Ionic-V. So if you are seeing this version number that means Ionic is successfully installed on your system. Otherwise, you can install Ionic by typing npm install dash g Ionic. As we already have Ionic installed, so we can go ahead and generate a new Ionic project. So we can type Ionic start, then the name of the application. In my case, I will be using the name my app. And after that, we have to specify the template. So we have various templates blank tabs side menu but in this example i will be using the blank template and at last we have to specify the type of project we want to use as ionic 4 is framework agnostic so that means we can use it with any framework so i will be using it with angular so we can specify type equal to angular now this will go ahead and create a new ionic project with blank template and now it is installing the dependencies so it might take some time so i will be back when it finishes now our project is successfully created so we can change the directory to our newly created project and then we can open the project inside of our code editor i am using visual studio code insiders build so i can type code insiders dot so now this will go ahead and open the project inside of vs code now we can run our application by going to terminal and then new terminal so this will open the integrated terminal inside of vs code and we can type ionic serve here so this will go ahead and build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside of our browser so this is how our application with the blank template looks like now we can close the terminal window and then we can go to source app and then home and then we can open homepage.html so this is a template that we were seeing when we opened the browser now to create horizontal scrollable tabs we can make use of ionic segment component so first let's create a grid component so we can type ion grid and we want to make the grid fixed width so it won't take the entire width of the page and after that we can create ion row and inside of that we can create ion column and then we can give it a size of 12 all right now inside of that we can create our ion segment component so let's start by typing ion segment and inside of that we can create ion segment button and then we can give it a value so let's say technology and then here we can create a new label so this should be label and then we can say technology all right so similarly we can create a couple of components so three four and let's change the names so here we can say maybe India and then we can say world and then here we can say Bitcoin so you can think of it as a categories for the news and now we can save it so now if we take a look at inside of the browser we can see these four segments or tabs so we can click on any one that it becomes selected so let's add a couple of more items here so that we can see the effect so instead of copy pasting ion segment button component we can go to our home page.ts file and here we can create a new array called categories and then here we can define an array of items so let's say India then world maybe technology bitcoin mobiles 
maybe computer laptop health or maybe let's say speakers all right so now we have many items inside of the array so we can loop through this categories array so what we can do is we can remove all these buttons here and then we can add ng4 and then let category of categories and then the value can be category all right and then here we can specify a category all right so now we can save it you may have noticed when i save the file my code gets formatted automatically this is because i am using the pretty extension here so you can use that also so when we save that and then we go back to the browser so we can see here all these different items that we had in the array so now what we can do is if we open the developer console and here we can click on that toggle device toolbar and then we can select responsive so here you can see if i resize the window and then i try to go to the different categories so i cannot go there because we are currently not adding a certain property to our iron segment so let's do that to make it scrollable so what we have to do is we can add a scrollable directive to our iron segment component so we can say scrollable and then we can save it and now if you see inside of the browser we can use our mouse to scroll through these different items so this is how we can make our iron tabs or segments scrollable so now what we can do is we can see how we can tap into one of the events of the iron segment so when we click on certain segment so something should happen so inside of our iron segment component we can make use of iron chain event and then we can specify the method we want to call so we can call on category change and then we can specify the event and now we have to create a new method inside of our ts file so we can add on category change and then maybe for the parameter we can pass category and then for the time being let's output it to the console so we will say category all right so now we can save it so currently we haven't selected any segment so let's see we select any segment so let's say india so you can see we are getting the entire segment here and if we expand it then we can go to detail and then the value so this is where we can get our value so if we scroll down here so instead of category so we can type category dot detail dot value so now we can save it so now if we select any tab so let's say india we can see the text india here and let's select the another tab so here we are getting the mobiles so this is how you can tap into iron segment event so let's say you have an api where you can pass in the categories like this and then it will give you the news back so this is a place where you will call the http and then you will get the news back from the api and then you can display the news inside of your template